A scary urban legend about the bunny man turns out to be true. Welcome to Inform Overload, I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you're new to the channel we tell you about the most interesting news stories we find on the internet and we make it more entertaining. A bridge on Colchester Road in the Fairfax County is known as one of the most dangerous locations in all of Northern Virginia. But not due to any normal fears, it's labeled as a dangerous spot because of its history surrounding the urban legend of the Bunny Man. And as the legend goes, in 1904 there was a mental asylum located not too far from the bridge and because the residents didn't want mental patients wandering near their homes, they voted to have it shut down. And while the patients were being transported by bus to a nearby prison, reports say that the bus swerved off the road and crashed. As the story goes, the police were able to locate all of the inmates except for one. The one they didn't catch was Douglas Griffin. Not too long after, rabbit corpses began popping up all over the woods to which some believed Douglas was using to stay alive. He also would oddly display them by hanging them from the bridge. It's believed that after that incident on one Halloween night, Douglas attacked and killed a group of teens who were hanging out near the bridge. And after he killed the kids, they were then gutted and hung from the bridge in a similar fashion to the rabbits, making most people believe that he was responsible for the murders. Now, critics of the urban legends say that there was no asylum in that area and the idea of a bus on the road at that time is pretty far fetched. However, most urban legends grow like a game of broken telephone, but all begin with a morsel of truth. A man named Brian Conley who worked as an archivist for Fairfax County was sick and tired of telling people that they didn't know if the bunny man was real or not. So he dove into the county's history to find the truth. And what he found was shocking to say the least. In 1970, a couple had parked not too far from the overpass and had a scary encounter with the bunny man. A man dressed in white with something on his head began yelling at the couple saying they were trespassing and then threw a hatchet at their car window. Of course, when retold, that something on his head morphed into bunny ears. A second sighting of the bunny man also appeared two weeks after the incident when a security guard reported seeing a man wielding a hatchet as he was chipping away at a porch railing. As you could imagine, these reports soon transformed into stories that kids would tell each other to strike fear into their friends during Halloween. The madman soon became a man in a bunny suit who would chase children through the woods with a hatchet. Many refused to believe Conley, saying that the county must be trying to cover up evidence, but if anyone has taken part in a rumor, you'll know how fast the stories can change. Conley says while it's fun to debunk the bunny man legend, it's even more fun to believe it. Today the bunny man urban legend has spread far and wide with merchandise, bunny man beer, and even its own horror movie franchise. While he may not have been wearing bunny ears, the idea of a man throwing a hatchet at someone's car window because they were trespassing is equally terrifying. What I want to know though is what you think about this. Do you believe the story grew from a simple incident or is the urban legend of a man with bunny ears disemboweling kids being covered up by the Fairfax County? Let us know down in the comments below. Now let's entertain your brain with some featured comments. Kazuma Yami says, I love IO but I don't get featured. There is your feature. Now run home and tell your parents you're on TV. Bradley Barker says, I'm really starting to get used to the Potato Queen's gesture. Why, thank you, Bradley. You'll now be my second in command. Basically, what you'll have to do is toss me potatoes as I juggle them for the Queen's entertainment. Elizabeth Ramirez says, Notification Squad. I love IO. They make everything so interesting. We do our very best to make these strange stories even more interesting than they already are. Peanut Butter Pikachu says, Everyone needs a break once in a while. You are so right. Also, your name makes me want to email Reese's Peanut Butter Cups because I think we need a Pikachu shaped buttercup. Walmart Triple H says, don't like Johnny Boy. Sounds like someone needs a hug. Well, guess what? I love you. Your name is the perfect combination of my favorite store to be bored in and my third favorite wrestler. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you want more videos like this one, just click the playlist on the screen. And if you have any hot tips on any new and exciting stories that you want us to cover, just find my Instagram in the description below and send me a DM. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers, and until next time, take care.